So this is a melanoma here, here, and here, and here. I've told you that repeatedly. Of course, there are melanomas that arise in a pre-existing nevus. Yeah? For example, this here, you can see a congenital nevus, increase of terminal hairs, and you can see a melanoma arising in this pre-existing nevus. Yes, of course there are. But there are so many nevi out there and so few melanomas that develop in a pre-existing nevus that the chance, the, sing, the chance of a single nevus to transform into a melanoma is 1 to 300,000. So if you prophylactically excise nevi to, to prevent melanoma, you have to excise 300,000 nevi to prevent more melanoma. And the morphology of the nevus doesn't tell you which nevus has a higher chance to, uh, to become a melanoma. So let's assume, uh, or let's summarize what I've told you. The concept of dysplastic nevus as a precursor of melanoma is flawed. There is evidence for this. And if it's not true, this is my opinion, but not only mine. And let us assume for a moment I'm completely wrong. Let us assume for a moment all those people are smarter than me, and they are right when they say that this plastic nevus or atypical nevus is a precursor of melanoma. Let's assume this for a moment. Then what is the only sense of the dysplastic nevus then if it is a precursor of melanoma that we can predict by morphology that this nevus is going to be a melanoma? You agree with that? Otherwise, dysplastic nevi or atypical nevi wouldn't make sense. Huh? So let's answer the question if we can predict the chance of malignant transformation of a nevus by morphology. This is a melanoma that developed in a nevus. I know this patient very well. I've seen her one month ago. She has another melanoma. And here is a close-up. And now I show you, i show you the melanoma again. And now I show you five nevi of the same patient. Same patient. And you tell me which is the precursor lesion. So, is it this left upper corner? Is it this one, right upper corner? Is it this one, left lower corner? Is it this one, right lower corner? Or is it the middle lesion? Who is for left upper corner? Nobody? Right upper corner? Just, you cannot lose anything. Some? The middle lesion? Left lower corner, right lower corner. So, you, so most of you are for light, right lower corner, and most of you don't have an opinion, yeah? because you don't know. Yeah? Well, the winner is so even if the dysplastic nevus exists, it doesn't help us, because we cannot predict by morphology the risk of transformation. So why not? Spoil the concept at all. If, if it exists, it doesn't help us. This is the precursor lesion. So can we predict the chance of malignant transformation of an evus by morphology? No, we can't. Do you agree with that? Yes. Is there any chance, if, if I've brought many arguments, is there any chance that the, that the concept of the dysplastic nevus will disappear? No, no. <laughs> there is no chance. Why? Because if you read a textbook in dermatology, it's everywhere. And it will change slowly, like the dyshydrotic eczema, like mucosis fungoides, all misnomers. Unfortunately, we cannot change them anymore. But it's still time to change the dysplastic nevus and atypical nevus. Is there any chance? I know because there is too much propaganda for its existence. And this is from a textbook one of the major textbooks in dermatology. I don't tell you which one, but you recognize the lesions. I've showed you those lesions in my first talk. So I know them very well because they are from me. I have, I, I've done the monitoring. I was the first to publish them. And they asked me to donate images for their textbook. It's not a small textbook. It's one of the major textbooks. And then they made a legend. Yeah? Here, for this first lesion, the lesion was, was excised and histology revealed atypical nevus in the right portion yeah, and superficial spreading melanoma on the left. But I didn't tell them. And 
I never showed them the slide. They just made it up, yeah? Like they made up the dysplastic nevo story from the beginning. It's just made up. Yeah? So will the dysplastic nevus disappear? Only if there is urge from, from, from you, yeah? Only if you ask questions, do not believe everything. And I can tell you, I believe strongly that this is a melanoma here, it's a melanoma here, it's a melanoma here, and although it doesn't look like a melanoma here, it still is one, and not a nevus, although it looks like a nevus. Thank you. Ci sono domande per il professor Kittler? 